psychological system that whether you're a man or a woman, you experience it, that when certain things happen, something seems to be happening here. Well, this is something which is very well addressed in the yogic sciences, but I was surprised to know that now the medical science is recognizing this aspect in a big way. That is, there is a gut brain, there is a brain in your stomach. Nearly hundred thousand neurons are invested from esophagus down to the colon along the alimentary canal. There is a brain, there is an intelligence functioning. Fortunately, it does not generate thought, otherwise you would be in trouble. <laughs> but there is an intelligence, there's a neurological system invested in that direction. And this intelligence is not entirely ours in the sense, there are probably billions, if not trillions, I don't know the numbers, of bacteria and uh, viruses and other microbial substance. Some of them are full-fledged life, some of them are half-lives, some of them aspiring to be life, but all of them playing a role. And they have a significant influence on how you think and feel. It's not just this new virus that's come which is making you think in a specific way. There's a whole lot of microorganisms, particularly in your stomach region, who are able to influence even your vagus vein. A vagus vein means generally it is uh, <clears throat> In the yogic uh, sense, we are talking about this as a sacred vein. But the medical science calls it a vagabond because it is all over the place and for a long time they did not realize what, it's, what is its purpose. So if somebody goes all around without any perceived sense of purpose, then we say he is a vagabond. So in that sense they said it's a vagabond or a vagus vein. In yoga, this vein is seen as a sacred part of your body because if you have a certain pleasant influence upon the vagus, it determines how your experience is, your mood. I don't like to use this word but this is the term. Your mood modulations are managed. Your neuroplasticity or your ability to shift and change according to situations or at different times of your life according to the requirement of your life is enormously enhanced if your vagus is well influenced. Now there is evidence to show that more than you, the microbes can influence the functioning of the vagus vein. That means the microbes in your stomach can decide whether you are happy or unhappy. So, welcome to the world of virus because microorganisms have played such a significant role in who we are, both in terms of our physiological evolution over these millions of years and who you are as a person right now. 